Okay, right, this is carrying on from the previous one. So it's quite important you watch the other one first, the one on the Spartacists in the left wing. Now, following the Spartacist uprising in Germany of 1918-1919, it then became the turn of the right wing to have a little bit of fun. And um, they tried to overthrow the Weimar Republic. Remember, the right wing disliked the Weimar Republic because, number one, it, it blamed the Social Democrats for Germany's defeat in the First World War, and number two, for signing the Treaty of Versailles. Plus three, the, 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 the Weimar Republic was actually very weak and unstable because of proportional representation, and the right wing wanted stable, strong government, one strong leader, and they weren't getting it, and they basically wanted a return to the Kaiser, the old system. Now then, um, so in 1920, it became the turn of, of the right wing under a guy called Dr. Wolfgang Kapp. K-A-P-P. -P. It's known as the Cap Putsch. P-U-T-S-C-H. Now, Putsch means revolt in German. Now, in 1920, he got fed up with the Weimar Republic. And bearing in mind the right wing were actually quite powerful now because they just crushed the Spartacists. He led 5,000 Freikorps. F-R-E-I-K-O-R-P-S. Freikorps. They were ex-soldiers. Remember, they were armed. Remember, these are the guys that had crushed the Spartacist uprising in Berlin and Bavaria. Now, 5,000 of these guys turned up in Berlin, led by Dr. Wolfgang Kapp, to get rid of the Weimar Republic and reinstate the Kaiser, the, the old king of Germany, who had abdicated before the end of the First World War. Um, and because he'd abdicated, he had a whole new system of government in Germany based upon proportional representation, and that was the Weimar Republic. Now... The government was still led by the poor guy Ebert. You've got to feel sorry for the guy. He was forced to sign the Treaty of Versailles. He had no choice in that matter. He then had to turn to the Freikorps to crush the left wing, and now he's got the right wing rising up against him. The poor guy's on a hiding to nothing. Um, he was a chancellor. And the big problem was that he had the army under his control, but the army were ex-soldiers as well. They were soldiers. These are their comrades, the Freikorps, who were marching on Berlin, and they refused to fire on them. So... So Ebert had absolutely no power. So you can't really blame him. He fled. He ran off to Dresden. Now, things look pretty bleak for the Weimar Republic. It looks like, you know, the cat putsch is going to succeed. Except for the fact that Ebert is saved. And this time, he's actually saved by the left wing. Okay? But not the Spartacists, not the Communists, not the Socialists. But in actual fact, the workers. Okay. And what the workers do is they declared a general strike where they refuse to do anything um, in Berlin um, to help the government or do anything for the government. And it basically brought Berlin to a complete and utter halt. What they did was they, they stopped all transport, that's the railways, the trams, they stopped all power, gas, electricity and water. Um, and what this meant for Cap was that, okay, he may have got control of, Germany, of Berlin, but he couldn't do anything because he had, didn't have the workers on his side. So what he did was he realised he couldn't succeed and he fled and he left Germany. He was later arrested, tried and imprisoned um, and he actually died in prison whilst completing his sentence. Interesting enough though, you'd think that if Cap was arrested so too would have been the 5,000 Freikorps. In actual fact, not one of them was really punished. Um, um, this is proof of the, the, how much the judicial system, the legal system, the judges in Germany at this time supported the right wing. There were 700 rebels, these, these cat putsch guys, who were put on trial for treason, which is about as serious as you can get. One was imprisoned, and that's Dr. Wolfgang Kapp himself. Um, so the, 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 the legal system massively favoured the right wing. In fact, between 1919 and 1922, not one right-wing murderer um, was um, convicted and executed. You know those 376 murders I talked about in the previous episode? Not one of those committed by a right-wing guy was, was put in prison. On the other hand, the left-wing guys didn't do quite so well. Uh, ten of the left-wing assassins were um, executed. Now... Don't forget as well that the, the right-wing revolt doesn't just stop with Wolfgang Kapp and the Kapp Putsch. You also had the 1923 Munich Putsch, led by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Um, it also failed. Um, again, though, 
Hitler only served nine months in prison for treason, so it shows the leniency of the judicial system, the, the law courts. But, interestingly enough, because it failed, it did lead to Hitler abandoning his, the, the, this idea of f gaining power through force in Germany and instead resorting to, to elections and voting, being voted in. Right. Um, after 1923, though, Germany became a lot more stable. There was a new guy in town. His name's Stresman. He's really cool. He sorts out some major problems. He sorted out inflation, the occupation of the Ruhr, loans and reparations payments. Um, but even though, even though he sorted those things out, the Weimar Republic was still very, very, very weak. Now, it couldn't govern on its own. Um, it needed the left wing to defeat the right wing. It needed the right wing to defeat the left wing. It couldn't rely on the army. Um, and private armies still existed. You don't forget that one of the things that Hitler uses to come to power and, 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 and deal with his opponents is the SA, and that's the Nazis' private army. All right, so left wing, Spartacists, put down by the right wing Freikorps. The right wing Freikorps, Cap Putsch, is put down by the left wing workers. None of those, th none of those rev revolts are sorted out by the Weimar Republic. They're powerless, okay? And that's quite important. Now, I hope that helps you a little bit. I'll rewind this, but essentially it's quite straightforward. Left wing, put down by the right wing. Right wing, put down by the left wing. Pretty straightforward. All right, hope that helps. Bye.